Seeing Spencer Tracy act is like watching Picasso paint or watching Willie Mays catch a fly ball. They make it look so easy, you think, I can do that too. I can act like Spencer Tracy, but you can't. For me, nobody ever could. You're out! The way I see it, Spencer Tracy was absolutely the greatest film actor of the 20th century. Tracy could do it all. If Jimmy Stewart was every man, then Spencer Tracy was the universal man. He could play any character, any IQ. Look at him in Captain's Courageous. He's a fisherman, a wonderful fisherman, but with zero education. Gosh, can I take him off the hook? We got no time for that. We don't know these fish personal. Now watch the same actor play Thomas Edison with a genius that very few actors possess. If we could find a light without a flame that you could put into homes where men and women are ruining their eyesight under oil lamps, people everywhere could have a safer and a brighter light. It's no wonder, along with Miss Hepburn, we all fell in love with him. Something about the way Tracy carried himself made so many of us see him as a father figure. We saw strength and dignity and self-assurance. I remember thinking, if I ever have to be judged in this life, let the judge be Spencer Tracy. Let it now be noted, this is what we stand for. Justice, truth, and the value of a single human being. If you can't tell already, I've seen almost every one of Mr. Tracy's movies. But the thing is, I'm not just speaking as a fan. I knew the man. It was 1959. I was under contract to Universal. I was making a TV series called Riverboat. At the same time, Spencer Tracy was making a movie called Inherit the Wind. Every day, I would sneak on the soundstage to watch Tracy and Frederick March go at it like two bull elks. The Bible is a book. It's a good book, but it is not the only book. It is a revealed word of the Almighty God. Spake to the man who wrote the Bible. How do you know that God didn't speak to Charles Darwin? I thought maybe if I watched enough, got close enough to him, maybe some of the magic would rub off. He tells you what is right and wrong? Yes. And you act accordingly? Yes. At 5 p.m. every day, he left the set and walked to his dressing room. I followed 10 paces behind. One day he turned around and said, Come on, kid. So there I was, walking alongside my idol. He asked me what I did. He was having some fun because I always had on my little riverboat outfit. I told him that I was trying to be an actor. And Mr. Tracy said, well, don't let anybody catch you at it. Don't act, just behave. I felt like I was being knighted. That advice was so true. I could never catch Tracy acting. You don't see the work. He simply is on screen. <clears throat> Our walks became a daily routine. We talked about sports, mostly. When we would talk about acting, he always said, less is more on screen. Most actors never learn how much gold is in a scene just by listening. I once said to him, Mr. Tracy, you're so good at everything. Is there anything you're not good at? And he said, life. A lot of people think his gruff exterior was a cover-up for the fact that he was a devout Catholic and had a troubled marriage. I think it tore him up, knowing that he couldn't do everything as well as he could act. I want to thank God. What do I say? Just say what's in your heart. People close to Tracy knew that he was a proud man, that he was a damn good actor, but he was very cynical sometimes about the profession and the fame that came with it. Tracy once told me he considered plumbing a more honorable job than acting. It amazes me today when I meet young actors who don't know Tracy. Anyone who wants to work in movies should be tied to a chair and required to study him. Spencer Tracy understood the talent he had, and he shared it with all of us. I remember the loss I felt when I heard that Spencer Tracy died. I selfishly wished I'd gotten to know him better, but I was afraid he might give me one of those under-the-brow looks and that would have killed me. Tracy did give me a great gift. His time, his wisdom, and at least for a few weeks, 
I knew I walked in the presence of greatness. I knew then I might never be near an actor like him again. And I never have been. There is only one Spencer Tracy. For Turner Classic Movies, I'm Burt Reynolds. Gruff fisherman Spencer Tracy makes a sailor out of spoiled youth Freddie Bartholomew in the high seas adventure Captain's Courageous, Monday at 12 a.m., only on Turner Classic Movies.